The sidewall on the front tire of my John Deere L130 has a slow leak from a gash. This tire must be replaced with a new one. I'm going to show how to replace the whole wheel and tire with a 16 by 6.5 by 8 inch Arnold brand front tractor wheel. I also purchased a hardware kit online to replace the old hardware. Here's a look at the package and product information. Start by parking the lawn tractor on a flat surface with a parking brake engaged. Place a jack under a solid base, such as the brush guard. Then jack the front end up until the wheel is off the ground. If there's a hub cover, use a flathead screwdriver to pry it off while pulling with your fingers. The hub, axle, and its hardware can now be accessed. Once the dirt and grease have been cleaned off, you will find a retaining clip resting in a channel on the tip of the axle. With a flathead screwdriver, position the clip by rotating it until a good space can be found for prying. Pry it from the axle using the flathead screwdriver. Then, completely remove the clip using your fingers or a pair of needle nose pliers. Next, remove the large washer and then pull the wheel off of the axle. Now wipe the axle clean and use a small flathead screwdriver to clean out the clip channel. If there are any old washers left on the axle, remove them and replace with the two small washers that came in the kit. Next, apply a liberal amount of general purpose grease to the axle to prepare for the wheel. Now take the new wheel and note its anatomy. On one side you have a long hub with a grease fitting. This side will be installed towards the tractor. On the other side of the wheel there's a shorter hub that has a valve stem. This will be positioned towards the outside once installed. With the axle well greased, slide the wheel on in this manner. You may need to give it a good whack with a rubber mallet if it doesn't slide on smoothly. Next, take the large washer that came in the kit and install it onto the axle. Then take the new retaining clip and secure it into place. Use a pair of pliers to set the clip in this manner. Then, install the new hub cover in this manner. Now, lower the front end to the ground and turn the wheel out in order to access the grease fitting. With a grease gun, lube the axle well through the fitting. The mower is now ready to use.